Hey guys, what's going on? Um, just want to jump on here and make a video. I've been getting a lot of, uh, it's cool just seeing somebody, you know, I know every now and then they're just, they tell me to keep making these videos and stay, you know, to don't stop because this isn't, and God told me to do this. God told me to get on here and just share my heart and post some videos and stuff. So I've been doing it. And, um, and so, yeah, so I've been just trying to obey the Lord and listen, right now we're living in a time where it is so important, so vital that you know that you are living in the will of God for your life, that you know you're right with God. And listen, that's what Christianity is, is all about. It's not about just saying a prayer and escaping hell and one day making it into heaven. It's about a close relationship with the creator of the universe that loves you, that made a way when it was impossible for us, that made a way for us, so that we could come into the holiest of holies and know him there was, and come right into the directly presence of the Lord and be in close relationship with him. And that's what Christianity is about. It's about being with God and him being with you and him forming his nature and character inside of you and so then you go and you be a witness and testify of who he is not just in word but in character and so when people see your life they really actually see Jesus Jesus says if you've seen me you've seen the father if somebody sees you they should say I've seen Jesus because of his life that's in you by the Holy Spirit and so it's so important during this time and I feel like right now for for uh, the word I feel in my heart just for God's people is to really just be setting yourself apart be consecrating yourself like like be making decisions Make, make sure you're making the decisions in your heart that you want to grow in your relationship with Christ Jesus and you're doing the things that's necessary for that to happen. If you have to turn Facebook off for a minute, do it. If you have to turn the, the, the TV off for a minute so you can read your Bible and flip open the Holy Bible, the Word of God, that, that men and women was full of the Holy Spirit that bubbled over with the Holy Spirit and spoke the Word of God with truth, the inspired Word of God. It's infallible. It's perfect. Jesus says that in the beginning was the Word. The Word is with God and the Word was God. When you open your Bible, Bible, that's the face of God. And so you open your Bible and commune with him and talk to him and have fellowship with him through his word. That means you're just saying, God, whatever you want from my life, I'm going to open this Bible and I'm going to do it. And listen, faith is always action. It isn't just proclamation. Faith is always action. And it's always obeying what you read. That's why Jesus says, if you hear my word and do them, I'll show you who he's like. He's like a wise man. He heard the word. He dug deep because he did it. And so he dug deep and he built his whole house. His house is what you believe. It's your doctrine. It's your theology, if you want to call it that. It's, it's what you believe, and you dug deep, and you built it on the foundation, on the solid rock, that rock bed of Jesus Christ. And, and the waves came, and the wind came, and the floods came, and the torrential rain came, and just began to beat on the house. It didn't beat on the man. It beat on what he believed about the word. The enemy will always come to test the integrity of the word, and that's what he's doing in a generation, is he's saying, well, the word of God isn't this, and it isn't that, and it isn't this, and it isn't that. And it's making a movement called progressive Christianity that's just blasphemy, and it's not true, and it's not ever going to produce life in people because it'll still be a low form of idolatry where people are exalting their own identity above the truth and the word of God in Christ Jesus. And so just make sure you know the truth. You're communing with God, that you're setting yourself apart in separation and consecration. That means you're just say, saying, God, you know what? I'm available. Listen, that's what God looks for. God looks for availability. He says, who will go for me? Who's going to go for me? And we just say, here we are I'm making myself available. I may not know all that much and I may not have all, all, the, all, the, all the stuff and the theology and the degrees but listen God I'm available I've made myself available because listen why everybody else was watching TV and was on their Facebook I was in my Bible and I had my face in his book and I wasn't on Instagram and I wasn't watching the trash but listen I was laying I was laying in his presence and allowing his heart to be formed inside of me so that when he did send me I wasn't just moving in a gift but I was empowered by a character change by the power of the Holy Spirit and so when people seen my life they just didn't see a gift but they would actually see the fruit of the Spirit because I've been growing in a relationship with him then so you're saying God I'm here for you and it's so important right now as the children of God that we begin to set ourselves apart. So it's what Joshua told the children of the Israelites to do before they crossed and over into the promised land. And how many of you know that Jesus Christ is so close to coming back? We are so close to entering into that promised land, into that heavenly place, to our heavenly home, to be with Jesus forever. He's about to come back and get his bride. And listen, you know what Joshua told them to do? He said, prepare, make provisions for yourself, which if you're watching things on news, I'm not speaking fear. I'm just saying, I'm telling you, you better be prayed up. You better be ready. 
because right now when mainstream media, you know what all it is? Mainstream media and, and, and this vaccine and the snake bite and all this stuff, listen, because that's what it is. It, it's a statue out in the wilderness. And when you see mainstream media and the news, it's just like it's just like the king and all the when all the instruments played, he said, everybody fall down and worship this thing that I built out here. Worship this statue that's uh, the, of this thing in the wilderness. And that's all it is. And then you see all this stuff on Facebook and you see mainstream media and all it's saying is saying bow to this thing. And we're going to say no, because I've prepared myself through consecration, through prayer, and I'm ready to inherit the promised land. That's not given by man's w wisdom or reasoning, but that's come by the power of the Holy Spirit because his life is inside of me and he's leading me into truth and he'll never allow me to be deceived. And I trust him more than your own thoughts. I trust him more than what people say about me or think about me. I trust him more than what Facebook says. I trust him more than Fox News and CNN. I trust him more than what I hear in the White House. I trust the power of the Holy Spirit to keep me, provide for me, and to be my protection and my wisdom. And I'll never exalt the word of man over the living word of God when his word is true and it's eternal. And everything else that we see and everything that we feel and everything that we actually comprehend with our senses, taste, touch, smell, will all burn and be refined and there'll be a new heaven and a new earth. And I'm looking toward that new heaven because, listen, this place, I live here, but I'm the citizen of heaven. I, I, I live in the United States of America, but my citizenship is in heaven. And I'm trusting my king that's in heaven. I'm listening to my governor, my king of kings that's in heaven. And that's only through the word of God. And it's so important. You set yourself in a place of consecration and prayer. And you've prepared your heart that when they come and knock on their door, that you say, you know what? You can take me and you can kill me because you know what? I'm already dead because my life is hidden with Christ in God. And so whatever you do with me, hey, listen, my home's in heaven. I do not fear him who can harm the body, but I fear my father who can throw both soul and body into hell. And so listen, you have to be ready. Be prepared. Be prayed up. Be fasting. Be seeking God. Be, be set apart so that when God says, hey, who will go for me? We can say, you know what? I may not be the most gifted, but I'm available. And he'll begin to anoint availability. He'll put words in your mouth you didn't even know. He'll put gifts in your life. You'll begin to have ideas that you didn't even know it was possible for you to have. He'll begin to call you to do things that you didn't even know was possible for you to step into. But just because you made yourself available, he said, you know what? I will use that one. And so, you know, be blessed, be encouraged, take heart, flip open your Bible, pray, read, seek God. Come on, take, it's not the time to be dismayed and discouraged. It is the time to be steadfast and to shine like a light. Cause you know what? When things get dark, the light shines the brightest and it's time that we shine. And so when people see our lives, they'll say there is a God. They can't even begin to say, you know what? Christianity is a farce because as, even as they begin to think the thought, your face will pop up in their mind and they'll see your face and they'll say, no, man. And it has to be real because I walked that person walk through a living hell. I watched them walk through these so many circumstances. And they didn't budge from what they believed. And that's going to be our testimony that we wasn't like those who backslid, but we are those that believed into the saving of our souls. I love you guys. Take heart. Be encouraged. I love you.